Hey everybody, Jack Fly here. So um, a couple of years ago, I did a video on the most haunted place in Australia. So, as you can see, the reformatory's up there on the hill and we're gonna go up there for a look. Um, the old reformatory. Now here's the thing. I um, spent quite a bit of time at that place. I was even there at midnight, into the early hours. Old. Light grey there. Yeah. They're yeah. massive too. You gotta to wonder who. And if you look closely here, they're trying to escape. Hopefully, yeah. they're still trying. They haven't actually escaped yet. Yeah, and um, the vibe I got there, in all honesty, was a positive vibe. I think I might have mentioned it even in that video. There was nothing negative. There's no. I don't believe it's haunted at all. I think it's all um, publicity. Because I actually know of a, a place that does hold negative energy. Now I've known of this place for around 18 years, okay? It's a place that I just will not enter. It's an old abandoned place, right? I just will not enter. I've never understood why um, I won't enter. However, in the last couple of years, I believe it holds some pretty negative energy and that's why I've always felt um, uncomfortable about going inside. Now, um, I'm just going to show you this place and um, talk a little bit more when we get up there. I'll just go for a walk. So here we are. Now, it's kind of strange because I haven't been out here for years. And even standing here, and I'm quite a distance away from the um, homestead, I already feel uncomfortable. I've got anxiety. I just have an awful feeling. I just don't like this place. Um, a little bit of history. So, yeah, it's over 100 years old. Um, the, the same family had lived in there. Eventually, their children took over the um, place. They lived in there. Their children then grew up, remained in the house. So they had children. So now we've got like the grandparents living in. Um, you know, it was quite a big family. The grandfather passed away and um, just left the grandmother. So eventually they bought a transportable, which is quite a distance from this homestead. So they shoved old granny in the transportable and they remained in this house till eventually they sold off the property and the um, new owner, as you can see, it's got a new roof on top um, and there's a new water tank there. Uh, around 30 years ago, the new owner bought it. He started to do it up. He put a whole new roof on it, dug out a new septic, had the... Um, new water tank to go in and a few other things and um he was actually doing it up for his mother-in-law and she wouldn't move in there she would have nothing to do with it so he just stopped left everything as it sits um i've known about this plate um for like 18 to 20 years um no one's ever been near the house it's just it sits as you see it um right now you can see up there, we're looking at a hill that's behind the house. Um, that's a man-made mound or hill. They stripped that from an area behind us. They stripped all the topsoil, built that mound, put the original water tank on there, which would gravity feed um, the old paddocks. So now, like I mentioned, I truly get a negative vibe from this house. Um, I've been out here a few times and I just get the worst anxiety, it's awful. However, probably about 10, 15 years ago, I had a friend come with me, he's a little bit on the arrogant side, you know, a bit of a show off. He went and entered that place, which is um, how I know that inside that house it's pretty much gutted, there's nothing in there, there's no old kitchen and bathroom and everything's gone half the walls are gone um from when the new owner started to do it up i guess for the mother-in-law um 
yeah, so he went in there, did a little a bit of exploring until he got the fright of his life and come running out. And I mean, he was running that fucking fast out the place. I don't think his feet were touching the ground. It's quite amusing. And it turns out he was just running because there was pigeons in the house and they startled him. And I tell you what, though, he wouldn't go back in it. <laughs> So I don't know what you think, um, we'll take another angle of the house. So like I said, I don't really want to get too close to the house. So right there, it's a bit hard to see, there's a massive hole in the ground, um, which is right there in the centre. That's where the um, septic pit has been dug, but nothing was ever put in there. can see the original woodshed just behind the house which we might get a just there we might get a bit of a better look um, soon so let's just get another um, angle of the house so now um, we're looking at the front of the house you can see kind of the um, different bit of rock work so some of the house has got brick work like Besser block work, I guess. And the majority of the house is the original limestone, which is what a lot of the properties out here were originally built of, you know, in 100, 150 years ago. They just utilised um, what was here, I guess. So you can see um, those mounds just on the left. That's just the dirt that was... Um, dug for the septic that was never put in. Now, I don't know what it is about this house, but I tell you, it really gives me the creeps. Um, so I don't want to um, particularly wander too close to it. And I don't know. Oh man, even zooming in like this, looking in the um, screen, gives me anxiety. But on the other hand, I kind of know you just want me to get a little bit closer, so I don't know if I should um, go for a wander. Obviously you talked me into it, so there's the old woodshed, the original um, shed. You can see there's a little bit of an add-on to the house on the left. Um, you can see that add-on. But yeah, you can see the old limestone part of the house. I'm not getting, I'm not um, going any closer than what I am here because Man, I've got so much anxiety, I don't even want to be here. So I'm just going to wander away and I kind of feel like I want to walk backwards and keep an eye on the house. That's how creepy and the um, how negative the vibe is I get from this house. So there you go. What are your thoughts? So I, um, so I want to mention something else here, right? Because there's more to the story. Now remember when I mentioned the family moved old granny into a transportable and the um, transportable some distance from this homestead? And here's the thing. I actually know the family that live in that transportable for the past um, 18 years. And here's the thing about that transportable. Okay? That family has a couple of kids. And those couple of kids are absolutely petrified of um, night times in that transportable house. One of them kids is um, a late teenager that still sleeps with the light on because they're so petrified. Um, the little bit younger child is also petrified um, at night time. So you tell me what your thoughts are on that. 
So, um, so I'm going to tell you what, if you're one of them ghost hunter type people, you ought to come out and um, go inside that house and see what you see because I'm surprised, I haven't been out here for years, right? I'm surprised how much anxiety it brings. There's just something about it. Of all the places I've been and recorded, um, this place by far, 100%, is pretty much the only place that gives me a very awful, awful feeling. So, um, yeah, I reckon that's the most haunted place in Australia, to, to be honest. Take care, everyone. Keep smiling.